Hi, and welcome back. Today we'll take a look at control options for the collector. So, let's get into it. On the back there, we have a pressure diverted collector without electricity, and here we have a collector with electricity. They both look very much the same, and their operation and function is very much alike as well. First, let's take a look at the uh, pressure diverted version. One important note about the pressure diverted collector is that you can only have it working if you're utilizing only one main attachment and without the turbo cylinder. With this machine, we are only using one double acting hydraulic auxiliary line to control both the main grab and the collector, which is based on the movements of the main grapple. Uh, it works so that once you cut down the first tree, uh, the collector will fully open uh, once you have finished, down, uh, finished cutting down the first tree. And then once you start opening up the main grapple again, that will then signal the collector to squeeze the tree firmly in its grip. And then you, start, uh, you continue doing the same uh, for the next tree. So you just fully close the main grapple and that will open up the collector. Once again, you start opening it, it will squeeze the collector tightly in and so forth. Uh, when you want to drop down the trees, you will then simply just uh, fully open up the main grapple and that will signal uh, the oil to divert to the collector arm and open that at the same time with the main grapple. This will cause it to drop down the trees that you have accumulated in its, in its hole. And uh, once you uh, start moving for the next trees, uh, you can close the collector by first uh, squeezing the main grapple uh, close a bit and then opening it again, which will signal the collector arm to uh, close down. So it's out of the harm's way. Second important note about the pressure diver collector comes to the opening and dropping down the trees. So like I explained before, uh, when you fully open up the main grapple, uh, the collector arm will open with the sequence as the oil is diverted to it. So uh, first learn the rotation and how you will utilize the pressure diverted collector so that you will be in full control when it comes to drop collecting the trees and also dropping them down in a neat bunch. Collector with electricity will be your choice if you're either utilizing a turbo cylinder in the tree shear or multiple attachments at the same time. You can always opt to use the uh, electrical collector e either if you're just using any other cylinder as well, uh, if that's the way that you prefer to work. Uh, here in this machine we have set up the main hydraulic double acting line uh, into the roller to open up the main grab and then uh, to drop down the trees we will be only utilizing one electrical push button on the collector. Uh, the sequence that you'll be working with is basically very much the same as it is in the pressure diverted version. Uh, first you will start cutting down a tree and when the main grapple finishes closing it will automatically open up the collector arm and once you start opening the main grapple it will then start squeezing the trees firmly in its grip. And you will do the same kind of rotation over and over until you have reached the maximum capacity and you want to drop down the trees. Now dropping down the trees will require you to open the main grapple at the same time and use the electrical push button uh, uh, with the opening to drop down the trees. Uh, this makes it so that it's basically acting as a fail sw safe switch for you uh, and you will not be able to drop the trees down by mistake. So whatever you do with the main grab, uh, you will not be allowed to drop down the trees from your hole unless you're opening the main grab and pushing the electrical push button down at the same time for the collector arm to open. When selecting the uh, electrical collector option, you will be provided with a two-piece electrical kit. This uh, black cable will be uh, run on the shear side and the grey cable would be run all the way from the end of your boom into the cabin and to the controller. Uh, they have a quick plug system with them so you can easily detach the whole free shear if you don't need to use it for some jobs. And then the other way to do this would be our wireless electric kit and it's always based on how you want to build the shear to your liking. On top of the other options, you can always utilize your machine's extra hydraulics if you have them and build a direct line uh, to control the collector cylinder manually. So basically, to summarize, you have four different means of operating the collector, which are either the pressure diverted version, the electrical version with the normal wiring kit run by the boom, the electrical version with the TMK wireless kit, or the direct line from your extra hydraulics. To stay up to date, with our products, updates and the attachments, make sure to follow us and as always, see you next time.